There's so much great information coming at you over the next half hour here on Retiring Well. We're excited to bring all this information to you. To start the show off, we're going to be talking about avoiding retirement planning pitfalls. There's some things out there that you just want to stay clear of and hopefully put that plan on fast track to success for you so you can plan to retire well. Then we're going to be talking about the very early stage of that. How do you start investing? Maybe you're in that first job or early in your career and you have yet to set aside that retirement planning account or retirement savings account. Let's take a look at how to do that. Then. Now, what if you're already retired and you're trying to buy time before that Social Security kicks in? What if you're delaying that Social Security? Strategies to do that, things to consider, how that can be advantageous to you in the long run. And to conclude the show this week, retiring in Northern Michigan. We're all right here in beautiful Northern Michigan. It's such a wonderful area. What does retirement look like here? And some of the things to consider and do so that way you can plan to retire well. Stay with us the next half hour. We hope you have a lot of great information. Get that notepad ready and your cup of coffee. And we're coming at you right now with all this information. Retiring Well, brought to you by Centennial Wealth Advisory. Financial advisors specializing in retirement planning and serving all of Northern Michigan. Retiring Well, helping you plan for a successful and comfortable retirement. Retiring well. Plan to retire well. I'd like to share with you some potential retirement planning pitfalls and, and how to avoid those. So starting off, let's talk about not having any type of review process. Is it something where you essentially have these different retirement accounts and you've never really uh, maybe sat down with an advisor to work through those and, and then periodically review all that information? Because as you can imagine, your, your life circumstances change and, and the ongoing uh, market is going to be changing as well. So you want to be having some type of, of review process in place. What about lack of diversification? Are you structured in a portfolio where maybe you work for a certain company and you really like that company's stock and so you have a heavy percentage of your portfolio in that stock? Well, that's, as any advisor will tell you, that it's encouraged to have a, a greater diversification so that way if something were to happen to that particular company, then you have other assets uh, to help mitigate that risk. What about underperforming assets? Have you, have you looked at uh, different, different holdings over time that you say, well, this isn't really living up to what the goals are that we established, and, and then maybe it's time to make a change. Even if that position is down at the time, you might say, well, it's best to sell that and move on to some other type of investment. What about psychological blocks? Uh, you know, that might be the fear of the future of the market. You might be sitting there, uh, I've talked to several people that have said, well, eh, it's, I, I just don't feel comfortable with the market right now. But then they think about it and they said, well, I've been saying the same thing for maybe the past several years. So that might be it, or it might be on the opposite end, the, the fear of missing out. Maybe you're in a position where you say, well, I'm, I, I, what if that market takes off? I don't want to miss out on that. So again, I would say it comes back to your comfort level with risk and matching up uh, appropriately. Uh, a misconception of longevity. How long do you think you're going to live? I don't want you to d just predetermine that based on, well, my family lived, they only lived a short amount of time, but you might be perfectly healthy and might be expecting a longer lifetime. Another area is relying too heavily on your Social Security and or maybe ignoring your Social Security. That can be a vital piece of your overall retirement income plan and want you to uh, be looking at that of as far as uh, should you be starting at 62 or perhaps delaying till 70. There's a lot of, a lot of years in there uh, to evaluate. Another area might be thinking that you're going to work indefinitely. Uh, have a plan for if you were to retire perhaps at a younger age than, than you may think that you're working just to make sure that you're in a good spot. Last one is going to be ignoring tax implications. I think too often people aren't really factoring into their retirement plan what the taxes are on their portfolio, especially when they start to take income. So. All of these are, are major pitfalls and areas that we encourage you to create a plan. And that's where uh, we'd love to sit down with you and help you plan to retire well. Your grandchildren are precious to you. They are your life. This is your time to have that special relationship. Taking care of yourself is taking care of them. 
Centennial Wealth Advisory is offering a free, no obligation retirement review to make sure you don't run out of money during your retirement. Centennial Wealth Advisory, your best is yet to come. Hi, my name is Jack Klunder and I am a financial advisor with Centennial Wealth Advisory. I work out of our Cadillac office and we specialize in retirement planning. We take a very holistic approach. We can help go through all the different aspects of planning that are involved in retiring well. So if you are nearing or in retirement and you have questions that you want to go over, please give the number on the screen a call and we can have and set up a free no obligation consultation. You made it. Years of hard work, investing, planning, and now you're here. The long-awaited reward you spent a lifetime looking forward to. But what now? After years of growing a nest egg, now you may want to manage it. Use it to fund your dreams. Make it last as long as you need it. And leave some for those you love. So what do you do? Wall Street continues to be uncertain, and some conservative options have dropped through the floor. How do you maintain opportunities for growth and reduce risk of loss from market changes? That's where we come in. We are financial professionals. From investments and insurance products to tax reduction strategies and guaranteed retirement income you cannot outlive, provided by the claims paying ability of insurance companies. You've worked a lifetime to get here. Let us help you enjoy it to the fullest. For a complimentary consultation, simply contact us today. Living life isn't always easy. It puts up challenges and obstacles you'll have to overcome. There are responsibilities. You put in effort to provide and take care of your family. And to save and invest to balance work and life. Planning is the first step to succeeding. Plan to retire well. How to start investing? This is a question that I come across quite frequently from our younger viewers and our younger clients. Um, but the biggest hurdle I think to overcome is just to get started, okay? Just get started one way or other, get some of your money working for you. Um, obviously, the younger that you start investing is better because you have more time on your side, but what's most important is that you just get started. And so what I like to go over is a, a few basic steps to get the ball rolling and get your money working for you. The first one is to set specific goals. Okay, so obviously the long-term goal is gonna be saving for retirement. But I always like to include a short-term goal in there as well. And that short-term goal could be anything, whether it's uh, paying off credit cards, paying off your mortgage, paying off um, student loans, or maybe purchasing a, a new vehicle or something like that. But I always like to include a short-term and a long-term goal in there because for the short-term side, that gives you a win, okay? Psychology, psychologically speaking, um, you wanna have those wins so you stay the course and you stay investing for the long-term as well. Um, another step, a basic step in investing is to determine your available funds, okay? How much money do you have or can you set aside to invest for both your short-term and your long-term goals. So sit down and develop an income and expense plan, a budget. So understand where all your money's going and what those fixed expenses are. But don't forget to include to pay yourself. And by paying yourself, I mean start investing for the long-term for you as well. Another uh, basic step is making sure that you understand your risk tolerance. Okay, so in your younger years, you're, you're more likely to be um, less risk adverse, okay? So you wanna be in the growth and accumulation stage where you're taking on more risk because you have a number of years on your side before retirement. But everybody's appetite for risk is a little bit different. You gotta ask yourself, well, how much money am I willing to lose to make some money? And I know nobody wants to lose any money, but we all know it takes money to make money, right? 
Um, and then as you get closer to retirement, you know, usually a fundamental shift in your uh, risk tolerance does change. You go from when you're younger to grow, 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 grow those assets to, okay, now I'm getting closer to retirement. I don't want to see another 2008 come along where I lose 50% of my assets. And so you kind of want to rein, those, rein that in, okay, kind of tame it down. We call it your preservation and eventually your income phase. And that's when you're in retirement taking income from your portfolio. And then the final step is just to learn those basics. You know, I have a lot of clients that come in, hey, I'm ready to get invested. Should I buy this stock? Should I invest in this IRA or whatnot? Um, but you need to first do your research, okay? Understand what a stock is, what a bond, mutual fund, ETF, um, and, and get some guidance on that too. Don't be afraid to call up a financial advisor. We'd be happy to help. We'd be happy to answer those questions for you. And then also, don't forget to learn about the various types of retirement accounts that are out there for you to put those savings to work for you, whether it's the 401k or the IRA, Roth IRA, or just your standard brokerage account, okay? You wanna make sure that you understand all the intricacies of those accounts because there's so many different rules associated with them, both on the tax side and when you can actually even touch those funds as well. So I think the biggest piece of advice here to get started investing is just to get started, do it, okay? Um, but as a general rule, there are about four different basic steps that you need to take before you're actually ready to get started. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the number on the screen. Give us a call. We'd be happy to walk through these different steps with you, help you determine what those goals are, and get your money working for whatever you're trying to accomplish. The biggest concerns that clients have when they come to see us is usually the fear of the unknown. When they're heading into retirement, there are so many uncertainties that they're going to face, not only financially, but with time, with insurances, with taxes. You figure you've got one chance to do it and you better do it right. With that fear of unknown, they're looking for somebody to, to walk alongside them in this journey and to guide them along the way. Retirement's like 20 to 30 years of unemployment, so you need to have a plan in place to generate that income. We can help eliminate some of those unknowns and give them the confidence that they're going to be able to succeed in the goals they want to do in retirement. We want you to have your finances in order so that that's more of an afterthought, more of something that you say, well, that's what our team at Centennial Wealth Advisory is there to take care of. Too often, our industry focuses on the tools that are available, mutual funds and stocks and bonds, and oftentimes, the industry wants to start with a product. We believe here that you should focus on the individual's goals first. What do you want to do in retirement? What does that look like to you? Then what strategies do we need to implement to make those goals become a reality? So often we find that our clients love spending time with their family, with their grandchildren. Here in Northern Michigan, people love to be outside and enjoy kayaking or biking or hiking in the warmer months, sometimes in the winter months as well, out snowshoeing. Our hope at Centennial Wealth Advisory is to help you open up those opportunities to go and enjoy your retirement. As a financial advisor, it's not just my job to manage just your money. It's my job to understand who you are as a person your personal relationships, your aspirations and goals, and so I can help create a plan that ties your financial future with your personal future and all those goals. You want to retire, you get one opportunity to retire, and you want to do it right the first time. Our role here at Centennial Wealth Advisory is to help walk you through that entire process and ultimately help you plan to retire well. What can Retirement Analyzer do for you? Retirement Analyzer is a software tool that can help you prepare today for your financial future. You've worked hard to save for your retirement, but as you near your retirement, you may have concerns. Have I positioned my retirement savings wisely? Have I saved enough for retirement? And will my savings last throughout my lifetime? What impact could inflation have on my future expenses? 
What if I suffer a long-term illness? Will I have enough money to cover my medical care expenses and still be able to meet my other financial obligations? Could changes in the income tax rates disrupt my retirement strategy? There's no need to be in the dark as you prepare for your retirement. Retirement Analyzer can help you find answers to all these questions and more. The first step is providing us with information on your financial assets, the type and current value of those assets, as well as your sources of income. Then, we work with you to identify your expected expenses in retirement. This will include a discussion of the lifestyle you envision in retirement, travel, a summer residence, whatever you dream your retirement will be. We'll input the information you provide us into the Retirement Analyzer, and in a very short time, we'll have reports that show us the percentage of assets currently in high-risk vehicles, as well as the percent in lower-risk products. Retirement Analyzer enables us to project your income from year to year in your retirement and see how long your retirement savings may last. As we change the conditions of the report, delaying your retirement date, including costs for long-term care, adjusting the expected tax rate, or adjusting your retirement strategies, we can see how changes in these variables may impact your income in retirement and the longevity of your retirement savings. Let the Retirement Analyzer help you test drive your retirement strategy today, because the time to discover the bumps in the road is not once your trip through retirement has begun. Contact our office today to schedule an appointment for your Retirement Analyzer review. If you're a retired or soon to be retired, let us help you plan to retire well. Centennial Wealth Advisory specializes in retirement planning and has offices in Traverse City, Gaylord, Petoskey, and Cadillac. We'll never pressure anyone to become a client. Our goal is to inform and educate. Simply schedule a meeting at one of our Northern Michigan offices for a free, no obligation retirement review. Hey, welcome to this segment on how income annuities can buy you time until Social Security. Let's start with some facts about Social Security and the current population. Uh, with more and more Americans living longer and longer into their 80s and into their 90s, you know, due to better medicine, better health care, better decisions that they're making personally, Social Security and when to take Social Security really is something that you want to think about and strategize around. Um, what happens in Social Security is you could take it as early as 62. That is about a 30% reduction from what your full retirement amount would be. Not to mention the cost of living adjustments that you would be giving up as, you know, by starting early would uh, impose. Um, if you're able to start at 67 or even delay until 70, you're growing your income about 8% per year. So if you look at that time from 67 to 70, you know, that's about 24% increase in your monthly payments. What does that turn out to over a lifetime? Well, it depends on how long you live, but you know, that can translate into $100,000, $200,000 of additional income uh, you know, by waiting. And so the question becomes, well, what do we do um, with Social Security? When should we start Social Security? One of the biggest questions we get asked. The other thing I think you want to bring into account and when you're making that decision is, what is your health prospect personally because ultimately the cumulative benefits of social security depend on how long you're going uh, to live and when you start so if you're feeling like you have a good health prospect then we really want to look into what different options you might have from when you retire to when you start social security if you're going to delay it until full retirement age or age 70. That's where these income annuities might play one part of your overall plan. Anytime we say the word annuity, it can elicit a lot of different reactions because people have a lot of different understandings of them. And that's because there's a lot of different types of annuities. So we'll talk about two specific ones, but with a little plot twist at the end that this space is growing and uh, there are a lot of different options that can still fit um, the purpose of that contractual stream of income. So the first one is called period certain income annuity. This is where you could pick the a certain amount of months or a certain amount of years 
that that annuity will pay you a certain monthly income amount. It's contractual, it's guaranteed by the insurance company. And so if a client says, hey, I wanna retire at 62 and I'm feeling really good, I don't wanna retire until I'm 70, all right, let's get an income stream for you potentially that is going to cover those essential costs. The other option is what is called a lifetime income annuity. And this is simply a guaranteed stream of income that's gonna last uh, as long as you last in life here. It is a contractual, and there are some pros to this, okay? When you have this contractual income, uh, it's just like your paycheck, okay? It's very similar to what you experienced as you were working. First of the month, hey, here I get paid, and now I'm gonna have my expenses and bills. Um, and that's really nice. The um, cons, though, that you wanna be aware of is something that you wanna spend some time worrying about because the one side is nice, for the income, but then the downside, you, know, you definitely want to learn about. A lot of times there's lack of liquidity, just meaning like you put a big lump sum in there to get that guaranteed income stream, but you lose some access to that money. Uh, sometimes that can require a bigger portion of your retirement savings. Um, there's going to be fees associated with those products. There could be surrender or termination fees that can be uh, hefty. Um, you have insurance company risk. If that insurance company fails, then you know that could be an interruption to your payments or to your product. So uh, what I suggest that you do is you uh, uh, fire up your learning heart. When it comes to annuities, there are a lot of different options out there. And uh, you're gonna want to spend your time talking you know, to these uh, financial advisors that you trust. Start a conversation. Let them know the problem or the concern that you have. Um, and then shop till you drop. You know, spend enough time knowing the pros and the cons. What is the purpose of that income annuity? So if it fits your goals and your objectives, then definitely look into it. Um, if you're confused, you're not feeling confident about it, you know, you always can give us a call. Uh, the plot twist is that there are income annuities that have these guaranteed lifetime withdrawal benefits. It's a little different way to give you that contractual guaranteed lifetime income, but it's structured differently. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like watching Retiring Well, make sure to go to youtube.com forward slash retiring well and click the subscribe button to never miss any of our TV shows and other informative videos. Are you nearing retirement or in retirement? Have you had your portfolio just looked at or have a second opinion on that portfolio recently? Centennial Wealth is a full service advisory firm and we have multiple locations in Northern Michigan. I'm in the Gaylord office primarily, the office is right downtown Gaylord, also up in the Petoskey office as well, that office is right off of 31. Um, I'd love to hear your story, I'd love to sit down and chat and it's a free no obligation consultation so just call the number on the screen. One of the draws for me to uh, transition from teaching to this job was that uh, one of the platforms we have is a weekly TV show. And every single week, we get to get in front of a lot of people and inform them about what's out there, what markets do, what products are available, what services we offer. And so it's teaching, you know, and we're constantly teaching and they don't have, it's no cost. And so I love that piece of it, is that what we're doing outside of our daily work is that we're also continually trying to add value to, uh, you know, the people of Northern Michigan through our TV show. And there was a conference that I went to, it was in Hawaii, it was awesome, AE put it on, and, and uh, we went to a sunrise service of, uh, put on by some local Hawaiians. And they said one of their daily activities is to learn something new and give it away. That was a part of their culture. And when I heard that, I thought, that is so cool. And a lot of times that's what we get to do. We get to learn something new and then we get to give it away for free. I think it's an awesome you know, transition from teaching to teaching just in different platforms.
retiring in northern Michigan. For some of you, you were born and raised here and you would call no other place home. And for others, maybe you just moved here last week and you're getting ready on that retirement journey. It's interesting, you know, as somebody that was born and raised in Traverse City, you know, and my family has roots dating back all the way to the 1800s here in Traverse City, you know, it's amazing to see the transformation this Northern Michigan uh, communities have undergone over the years and the growth they've had. You know, with Centennial Wealth being headquartered right here in Traverse City and having offices in Gay Gaylord, Cadillac, and Petoskey, and serving all of Northern Michigan and beyond. You know, it's it's we feel blessed to be here. But why are people retiring here, and why are people moving here? It's interesting. Just recently, this August in 2022, Realtor.com voted Traverse City as the number one most affordable and best place to retire. And and you know, it's this that's not the first time Traverse City has made some list of best of something, right? So we're getting some national spotlights over over the years of different reasons to come visit and, and live and retire here. We've seen this tremendous boom of population in Traverse City and the surrounding areas and in, in across most of Northern Michigan, honestly. And what does that do from? Well, it was interesting, the article that Realtor.com had when they voted Traverse City number one, they, they cited near perfect weather from June through late October. And for most of you probably would agree with that. Sure, there's some chilly nights along the way. There are some rainstorms that, that come along at maybe inopportune times. But yeah, when you think, and I'd even probably argue a lot of times, May is beautiful too. So, you know, you look at a, a big part of that. Winters can be tough, you know, and there's a lot of different things to do in the winter. So some people enjoy winter just as much or more than others, you know, ice fishing and snowmobiling and skiing and sledding and, and, and snowshoeing and all this sort of different stuff that's out there. And obviously, you know, many, many folks choose to, to winter away and they go somewhere else. So retiring in Northern Michigan has a a lot of its perks, right? And for those of you that have lived here all these years and you know all these beautiful areas, one of our clients said it so well years ago to me, and this stuck with me uh, more than anything. She said, you know, our, in my retirement years, I, I see three phases. I see I'm going to have my go-go years, my slow go years and my no go years. And, and that really vividly stuck with me because she was insinuating that, hey, potentially early on when my health is good, I'm gonna wanna be very active and I'm gonna do all these things. And sometimes financially that means maybe you're gonna spend a little bit more money. Then eventually she, she, she see that she would age a little bit and probably slow down. Still doing a lot of things, but maybe not able to do everything that she once did. And then eventually getting to those no go years where maybe you know your health is waning and you're just just enjoying life and, and maybe taking it easy and just not doing as much. You should have a financial plan, no matter where you live, that matches up with what you plan to do in retirement. If you don't feel that you have this, we'd love to sit down and walk side by side with you to help you through that. Give us a call at the number on the screen and so we can help you plan to retire well.